Hi, uh, if you missed uh, Sunday's sermon, then I uh, just want to give you a, a quick overview of what we talked about in our third week uh, on our prayer journey. One of the criticisms of church services is they can appear not to be very authentic. A person comes in and they see all, these, see all these people praising God and they think, hey, I know, what's going on here? I know there's all this pain and uh, stuff in these people's lives and yet it just seems artificial. They all seem to be happy and praising God. These people aren't real. And there's certainly scriptures that, that definitely affirm this idea that we are to be a people of praise and uh, to be continually praising God. But the Bible also affirms that uh, there is another way to deal with hardship. Because one third of the Psalms are actually laments. See, when we worship God, there are two things in the room. There's God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. But there's also disease and depression and suffering and divorce and pain and unemployment. Both things are there and present. So praise and lament need to stand together in worship. Jesus teaches that the kingdom is here, and yet the kingdom has not fully come. In worship, we proclaim God's goodness and power and majesty. We, we praise him for his faithfulness and love and grace. But often that's not what we experience. Uh, we experience the pain of this world. So how do we reconcile these things? Well, we can praise God as an act of faith, and the Bible encourages and endorses this. But equally, the Bible affirms praise of lament. One third of the Psalms are prayers where a person cries out to God about the gap between God and what they're experiencing. Typically, we don't have in our repertoire many songs like that. Prayers of uh, Psalms of lament recognise the reality of pain without answers, the apparent absence of God, and they express doubt as well as faith. So I think we've got to find room in our services for both lament, because that's really healing, actually, and affirmative for those who are experiencing pain, as well as praise. Praise without lament leads to a superficial spirituality, an inauthentic spirituality that doesn't recognise or take seriously the pain and grief of our world and our lives. But lament without praise can lead to self-pity and eventually unbelief because we forget who God is, what his character is. We forget about the hope we have in the resurrection. So praise brings heaven to earth. Lament brings earth before heaven. The second thing, uh, issue around praise is one that many younger people are asking these days. Why does God need to be praised all the time? Is God a narcissist? I realize that even saying that, some people find it radical, but people are asking this question today. In fact, they've asked it uh, over many years, but it seems particularly valid today. Why does God want then our praise and worship? Well, partly because he's the only one that truly deserves it. He is God and we are not. He is glorious, and there's nothing and no one else like him. Secondly, we need to realize that God wants, but he doesn't need our praise. It's actually to our benefit that we give glory to God, because we're created as worship, uh, worshipful people, beings. We're designed to worship. And it's actually to our detriment when we give glory to the wrong God. Because we all give glory and worship to something. The daily battle is, are we going to give glory to God? Or something else. But when we worship something other than God, we pay a price for that. We're never satisfied. What does praise do? Well, praise takes the focus off ourselves. We're deeply and inherently self centered. Uh, our culture celebrates self centeredness. Praise takes the focus off ourselves. It reminds us that God is greater than our problems. It reminds me of the truth of who I am, that I'm loved by God. And praise pushes back the enemy. Praise can actually be a spiritual weapon that defeats the schemes of the enemy. The key passage I was going to preach on today before I decided to broaden it out from praise to include lament is 2 Chronicles 20. It's a classic story where a king uh, is faced with a huge army. He seeks God and uh, his strategy is not a typical one. He sends the worship team out in front of the battle. 
They're not armed. They're just uh, they're good at singing and playing music. Uh, they're not good at fighting, but he sends them out first. In doing so, he's declaring his faith that God is going to win this battle. And we read the story in, in 2 Chronicles 20 of God powerfully defeating the enemy. Praise is a powerful spiritual weapon. Paul says the weapons we fight with are not of this world. We fight spiritual battles with spiritual weapons. But praise can also lift our spirits. Praise can alter our mood. I'm not saying it's some magical cure for depression, but there's no doubt that, that uh, it can lift heaviness and darkness and fear and discouragement off us. Praise has a powerful effect on our inner beings. Well, what do we do when we don't feel like praising God? Well, we can use uh, psalms of lament. Sometimes it's just around our self-talk. Uh, and we actually need to do something about our self-talk. Psalm 42, uh, we read of the psalmist talking to himself, saying, why am I discouraged? Actually, I'm going to choose to praise God. So praise is a choice we need to make. We need to talk to ourselves about that. Praise is also costly. Sometimes praise costs us. It's a sacrifice. A lot of scriptures around that. And praise is an act of faith. Despite what is happening around us, we choose uh, to praise God. So my encouragement, if you struggle in terms of prayers of praise, maybe read a psalm out loud and slowly. It's a great way just to praise uh, God. You can use worship music, and of course that's freely available to us now, so it's very easy to use worship music to help you. Uh, you can also pray some very simple prayers. Uh, you are prayers. Think about God. You are faithful. You are good. You are loving. Very simple, particularly if we're struggling. Uh, just to pray, you are prayers. As uh, prayers of praise to God. So I encourage you to, to uh, as you go through this week, to look at the different types of prayers. Um, but praise and thanks are great uh, and essential part of our prayer life. May God bless as you uh, work through different types of prayers this week.